And now, views and interviews from the world of technology. Coming up, Sky News Tech Talk with Krista Holliman. Yeah, my name is Jared Young. I'm Senior Director at Barclay Card US. I'm the business owner for Barclay Card Ring MasterCard, which is a new social credit card. How did that product come about? Well, it came about, uh, actually, Paul Wilmore, who is my boss at Barclay Card, uh, was looking at the trends in the marketplace. And there's the regulatory environment that's asking uh, the US marketplace, especially credit cards, to be more transparent with customers and to be more fair. And then he was looking at the growth in social media and the amazing thing that's happening there. And it's the same level of transparency and empathy uh, that needs to, that you need to embrace to win in social media as well. So these two things that were, were kind of tugging at us were a perfect fit to create a social credit card. The key is they can vote on how the product evolves over time. We've also started the product out at a very simple, as a very simple product. We've stripped away all the complexity. It's one 8% APR. There's no intro rate, there's no rewards. It's a very simple stripped down credit card. So to align the interests of the community and the bank, we've created a profit sharing program that we're calling Give Back. Uh, so over a certain return, we're giving money back to the community based on how well they perform. So we're also taking transparency to a new level. We're going to show the community the financial stats for Barclay Card and Ring on the website. So they come in, they can join a, you know, a forum, they can help each other out with a problem they're having with the card, they can look at the P&L, they can become educated on how their behavior impacts that P&L, and then they can vote on how the product should change. We have a process in place behind the scenes, right? So a customer will submit an idea and we'll immediately place a status on it. Uh, we'll, I'll review it. Uh, personally and then we'll maybe talk to some SMEs in the business about how feasible this is or how much how much it might cost to do what the customer is asking to do and whether or not we think there's a good business case to do it, etc. So we'll come back and we'll respond to that customer's idea. And um, we've got a, we've got over a dozen ideas already in the community and that some of them are really great. Even if you can't implement the idea, you can explain and be transparent about why it's taking so long. And that really I think goes a long way with the customer. They can understand. If you don't respond to them, they, they internalize it in a probably a negative way. And all you have to do is just explain to them you know, the roadblocks or the cost or explain to them why it can't be implemented right away. And I think they're going to feel much better about the fact that you interacted with them, they gave you an idea, you considered it. I mean, that's a great experience, even if it's not implemented. So I think you have to treat each idea like a special case. And you know, I, I hope we have too many to answer, but uh, I don't know that it would necessarily be a bad thing as long as you are honest in your interaction. So we've been in market for three weeks and we're very encouraged uh, by what we're seeing on the community itself. So all of the conversations we were hoping to see are seeing customers are helping other customers. They're sharing information about their card or their personal finance experience. They're submitting ideas. People are voting on the ideas. So all those things that you, you, know, you hear about happening in social media, we're seeing them. We're trying to keep the servicing as digital as possible. We're trying to keep the marketing as digital as possible. We're trying to sort of see if we can just have this be purely digital. Because we know that those customers that are really digitally engaged, those are the ones that are going to be most engaged with this product. So we need to play in that space. I do think that this is the way we should treat customers going forward as partners as much as possible. So to the extent that this you know, works and, we, and we're really hopeful that it will, we hope that other companies actually will pick it up and start doing some of these things. We follow closely what GiftGaff is doing. We follow closely what Simple is doing uh, up in Portland, Oregon. Uh, we've been following Moving, Move and Bank. So we have been looking to those people who are talking about simplicity and changing the face of banking for customers. Uh, GiftGaff, they're obviously kind of doing the same kind of model that we're trying to do. They're doing it in telco, we're doing it in financial services, but it's the same kind of mentality. Sky News Tech Talk, in association with First Tuesday, the UK's largest network for high-growth technology companies and their investors. For free membership, visit firsttuesday.org.uk.